Hi yogis, welcome to the Yin for Stress and Anxiety Practice. My name is Sarah Beth and I'll be your guide today. Let's begin this practice in a seated position to connect to our natural rhythmic breath. As we hold postures and move our body, we will use our breath as an anchor to stay present and relaxed. Make yourself comfortable. Sit up tall, but relax your shoulders and gently close your eyes. Become aware of your natural breath as you breathe in and out through your nose. There's no need to alter or control your breath in any way. Just observe it for what it is and how it feels. With each inhale and each exhale. Whenever a thought or distraction comes across your mind, and they will, just notice that. Then set the thought aside, you can always come back to it later, and come back to your breath meditation. Observing each and every breath and how it feels within this pose. You're welcome to keep your eyes closed and move as slow as you'd like to go to maintain the state of ease and awareness. Eventually, make your way to a child's pose with your knees as wide as comfortable and your upper body surrendering to the mat. As the position of your body changes, your thought pattern may shift, and your breath may change. These are all things to notice without judgment. Then once again, set them aside and come back to observing each inhale and each exhale. So your breath becomes your anchor into the present moment. Everything else can wait. Allow your body and mind to become as soft and as fluid as your natural rhythmic breath.
Each time a thought enters your mind, notice it and set it aside. Come right back to observing your natural breath. This is practicing breath meditation. And it's not that you're expected to have a completely clear mind. Instead, thoughts will come and go and it's part of the practice. But each time that you come back to your natural breath, you're building your mindfulness practice. You're building your mental strength. Take your time as you make your way to a downward facing dog. When you get there, resist the urge to pedal your legs or wiggle around, but instead notice sensation and cravings as you let your body soften into stillness. Notice changes in your natural breath as heat begins to build in the body. For half pigeon, bring your right knee up to your right wrist and open it up wide towards the right side of your mat. Lay your shin flat wherever it is comfortable and you're welcome to stay lifted or surrender down to your forearms or all the way down to the mat on your own terms, at your own pace. If at any point this posture is so intense that you're having a hard time relaxing in place, then consider doing the figure four variation on screen instead. Wherever you are, relax what you don't need so you can soften the tensing and the flexing in your hips, shoulders, jaw, and eyebrows. Then come back to your breath meditation. As you observe your natural breath, let it be a cue to your body to relax and soften. With each exhale, you can let something go. Our thoughts can be tricky, even emotions can rise. And if you find yourself completely consumed by thought, emotion, or feeling, try not to judge yourself for it. 
just notice and set it aside and come right back to your breath. Your breath being an anchor to keep you present and calm. Take your time as you slowly rise. Make your way back to downward facing dog and settle into stillness as you notice any new sensation. Set up half pigeon on your left side with your left knee towards your left wrist. Open it up wide and modify or find a similar position that you started with on the other side. Then take your time as you give into gravity. Releasing tension along the way and staying present by observing the natural rhythm of your breath. Sometimes, when we put ourselves in very intense positions, we tend to tense up both mentally and physically. If you feel like that's happening with you, then come back to your breath and allow your exhales to slowly soothe the body and mind. With each exhale, soften what you don't need. With each exhale, set something aside. And remember that the most important place your mind can be right now is right here on your mat with your body. Everything else can wait. Our natural breath can teach us a lesson of the law of nature or the law of Dhamma. And the law of nature is that everything that begins must end. Every inhale has its exhale. Even this posture will end. And it's that much more important to be present because you only have this moment. When this moment ends, a new one will begin, and that one will end. So whenever you find yourself in a really tough position, remember that that will end. Everything is temporary.
take your time as you make your way back to downward facing dog. Noticing any and all sensation. Now take a seat on your mat, facing one of the long sides. Open up your legs for a wide leg fold. Wiggle side to side to move some flesh out of the way, and then sit up tall, and notice if your pelvis is sitting upright or tucking under. If it's tucking under, then your lower back is rounding and chances are that your hamstrings are pretty tight. So take a standing wide leg fold instead because you're gonna get a lot more out of it. Check the modification box on screen to see what I mean. For those of you who are still seated, hinge your hips forward and walk your hands forward only until you feel a pull in your hamstrings and inner thighs. As time passes, you may be able to hinge a little bit deeper at the hips. And if you're feeling really flexible, you can start to fold your whole body forward. But if you're feeling a little tight and tense, you're more than welcome to stay lifted and focus on the sensation in your legs. Follow your smooth, natural breath and trust that the tension will release over time. Try not to force or rush. For those of you in your standing wide leg fold, make sure your feet are still parallel with each other. And to really target your hamstrings, bring a little more weight into the ball mounts of your feet but keep your heels grounding. You can always use your hands to support you, but do your best to relax your neck and upper back. The purpose of your breath meditation isn't to clear your mind for 30 minutes straight, but instead it is to teach you to notice thoughts as they rise, making you a third party observer, and then set them to the side and come back to your anchor, your natural breath. And every time you do that, every time you come back to your natural breath, you're building your mental strength and flexing your mindfulness muscle. Observing your natural breath is like observing yourself 
and how you physically react to situations. Be mindful that you're not observing with judgment, but instead take everything as it is, knowing that it's all a part of your practice. Observing each inhale and each exhale. Take your time as you rise, nice and slow. If you're seated, gently bend your knees one at a time, pull them into your chest to sit in a tiny little ball. If you're standing, toe heel your feet together and then squat down into a little ball. Then from here, come to lie down on your back and hold on to your knees for full wind pose. Soften your shoulders and invite length into the back of your neck. As you breathe in and out through your nose, notice how your breath fills and then leaves your body. Notice how your belly rises and falls. and how your lower and middle back softens with each exhale. Whenever you're ready, gently release into your final Shavasana. Extend your legs out long so your feet can fall open. Take up some space with your arms out long by your sides. Gently close your eyes and let your eyelids relax.
Let this be the posture of complete and total surrender. So the ground beneath you can completely support the weight of your body. And let this be the place of your strongest breath meditation. Observing each inhale and each exhale. Take a big breath in and a big breath out. One at a time, bend your knees and roll over onto one side. Using your hands, Press yourself up to seated and bring your hands together at heart center. If depression is living in the past and anxiety is living in the future, then true peace is found in the present. Namaste. If you enjoyed this practice, let me know in the comments down below. Learn more about meditation through my meditation series, which I'll link down below. And check out my restorative yoga playlist for more videos like this, including the deep stretch series and the rest of my yin series. Have a wonderful and mindful day.